by Stephen David Madden. Take you, Jennifer Cross, to be my wedded wife. I, Jennifer Cross, take you, Stephen David Madden, to be my wedded husband. On behalf of my wife and I, we would like to thank you all for coming and being here with us on our very special day. Looking around the room at the sea of our favourite people is really quite magic. Thank you to those who took a holiday off work and to those many teachers. Thanks for remembering which day of the week it was and actually making it on time. <laughs> We are so blessed to be surrounded by the people who have cheered us on and supported our love from the very beginning. And now, as we enter our next chapter together, we're so grateful to know you're all part of this moment as well. Well, I'd like to start by saying hello and welcome to everybody. For those who don't know me, my name's Kevin and I'm Jennifer's dad. I'd like to thank everybody for coming today. And I know some have traveled a long, long way to be here. So thanks to all the family and friends who've traveled from all over England, Wales, Dubai, and America. Yay! We're really pleased for you to be here to join us in the celebration of Stephen and Jennifer's marriage. Now, you may not have all actually realized that each and every one of you have been a part of my speech. You have all sat on a very special table name and that is what I've spoken about throughout my whole speech. It is what our relationship is all about and what we will have and give to each other for the rest of our lives. After all the times my dad has been there for my big life moments, it is an honour to be here for his to share his. He has been patient, caring and a friend and a role model to me. And he has always been there to help guide me and show me how to be a good person. He has taught me how to make him coffees, wash the dishes and take the bins <laughs> out. So I'm preemptively warning you now, Jen, you better be ready for when I leave. <laughs> In all serious though, I have always admired you and I've always wanted to be just like you. I look around the room and I see lots of Jennifer's friends and I guess if you're a friend of Jennifer's you're going to have an awful lot in common with Jennifer. You will know that if you ever need anything or ever want any help she'll be there for you and equally I know all of you would be there for her. True friends are a special gift. They stick with you through all good and bad. As everybody knows, Jennifer's get up and go is legendary. She never stops doing things. I was just talking to the lady who was running the wedding before saying, where does she get all the energy from? <laughs> this has been true since she was a little girl. She joined every club and did every activity that came along. From a very young age, she decided she wanted to be a teacher. I think it was since she found out that you got 13 weeks holiday. <laughs> I realise that's a very bad joke in a room full of teachers. <laughs> <laughs> J 
Jennifer, from a young age, set out to get as much teaching experience as possible to help secure jobs in the future. This included actually being a children's rep for Thomas Cook in Crete for the summer. I don't think Jennifer had anything to do with Thomas Cook going bust. <laughs> <laughs> she went on an adventure working with children in Camp America, which I know she thoroughly enjoyed. And uh, believe it or not, she even went to China to teach Chinese children over there. Quite amazing. You could only imagine what the Chinese authorities made of her when, when trying to carry out a review of what went on. <laughs> Asking children what they thought of Miss Cross, I'm gonna have to adopt the Geordie accent if I haven't already. <laughs> what do you think of Miss Cross? Well, she was dead cunning. <laughs> In them writing stories about how you went on your scooter for a picnic eating ham and peas pudding and studies <laughs> before you went to the fun fair on the roller coaster <laughs> held us held us <laughs> They must have thought she was some sort of spy from MFI. From MFI. MI5. I should stick to reading this and if I live in. They must have thought she was a spy from MI5, talking some sort of secret language and brainwashing their children. Obviously intrigued by whatever the heck went on when she was there, they actually sent their children the following year for Jennifer to teach them at Cambridge University. So it'll always be a proud boast badge of honour for me to say my daughter's taught at Cambridge University. <laughs> proud of Jennifer and how much she's put into making this wedding day unique, which I think everybody would agree, there's not many be like this. <laughs> Jennifer, when I saw you today in your wedding dress, I thought you looked oh, wow. <laughs> Stunning. This is an in-joke between me and Jennifer. And even better than Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs>
that said to Pooh, how do you spell love? Pooh replied with a simple word, you don't spell it, you feel it. Love is a mighty power, a great and complete good. Love enlightens every burden and makes rough places smooth. Once in a lifetime you find someone who not only touches your heart but also your soul. Someone who loves you for who you are and not what you could be. What a grand thing it is to be loved and what an even grander thing it is to love. The heart becomes heroic by dint of passion. It is no longer composed of anything but what is pure. When you love someone you have to offer that person the best you have. Give them your true presence. It means loving them when they're down, not just when they're fun to be with. I love you mean knowing they, their deepest secrets, not judging them, asking them in return they do not judge you for yours. I love you means you accept the person for who you are and who they are. It means that you will love and stand by them even through the hardest times. It means you care enough to fight for what you both have and you love them enough not to let them go. It means thinking of them, dreaming of them, wanting and needing them, constantly knowing that they feel exactly the same way. Today you promise to dedicate yourselves to each other with body, soul and mind. In this life and in every situation, wealth or poverty, health or sickness, happiness or difficulty, you will work to help each other perfectly. Marriage is a symbol of being together forever, but it takes trust, respect, love, understanding, loyalty to make it last. Love isn't about who you want to live with, it's about the one you can't live without. Here's to love, laughter and happy ever after. I do solemnly declare that I know not that I know not of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why I Stephen David Madden of why I Stephen David Madden may not be joined in marriage may not be joined in marriage to Jennifer, to Jennifer Cross. I do solemnly declare I do solemnly declare that I know not that I know not of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why I Jennifer Cross why I, Jennifer Cross, may not be joined in marriage, may not be joined in marriage to Stephen David Madden. Do you, Steve, take Jen here present to be a lawful one of those, to be loving, loyal and faithful to her for the rest of your lives together? I do. And do you, Jen, take Steve here present to be a lawful wedded husband, to be loving, loyal and faithful to him for the rest of your lives together. I do. <laughs> With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love, my everlasting friendship, and the promise of all my tomorrows. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love, my everlasting friendship and the promise of all my tomorrows.
Christine and I are really happy to welcome Stephen into the family. I never thought I'd have a son-in-law who was a Man United fan. <laughs> But obviously the good news is they're doing really bad at the moment. <laughs> and with a bit of persuasion, we may be able to talk them round. <laughs> Christine and Kev, traditionally I am supposed to thank you both at this point for welcoming me into your family. But it seems strange for me to do it today, as you've both made me feel like a part of it since the first day we met. Sorry. Right? <laughs> <Not again. laughs> I genuinely could not have asked for nicer in-laws. You've been there for us every step of the way, and you've worked so hard to make this day feel like this. I would also like to thank you both for allowing me to marry your beautiful. I love Jen with all of my heart and will do everything I can to continue to make her happy. To the wide across family and of course the Lloyds. Yay! Here we go. I felt so welcomed into the family since the first day I arrived. You've made Newcastle feel like a home to me. And now you definitely can't get rid of me. Okay? <laughs> Now, Kevin, this is more to you. All right, we've had the Man United joke, so I want to thank you for accepting me for being a Man United fan. <laughs> I know that you're hopeful that I will become a Geordie someday, as I think most people in this room are trying to turn me. There we go. So I think I've actually come up with a bit of a compromise. Hands up, Daddy. There we go. Stand up, boys. <laughs> 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 you and yeah. oh, no. You're going to make me cry. Yeah. Come on, You do, isn't it? Oh. Go <laughs> so, every time Man United and Newcastle play, I will wear that shirt with pride. <laughs> Me and you have both got one together, so we'll have that one for a few beers on the next game. <laughs> David, thank you for the endless hours of effort you've put into all the woodwork from the post box to the games. I'm sure you'll agree they look amazing and you really need to open a business to sell them as soon as possible. <laughs> Chloe and Arthur, I just want to say the music you put on today was amazing, so thank you so much for putting that on for us as well. It was fantastic, thank you. Just 
Auntie Rita, no, you can't hide away that. <laughs> I thank you, does Nazi feel like a nest? You've been our wedding fairy godmother. From the ribbons on the backs of these chairs to the tables runners right in front of us, you've contributed so much to our wedding, we couldn't have done it without you. I also want to say a big thank you to my parents who have put up with me for all these years, as always. <laughs> no amount of words will be enough to tell you how grateful I really am to you both. You've both been there for me when I've really needed it, and you've given me a great start in life. Have it. <laughs> and Dad, thank you for putting up with me and Jem when we lived with you for nearly a year. Just so she know, she hasn't drank any port since she left your house. <laughs> <laughs> and for our bridesmaids and best men. Um, thank you for agreeing to be a part of our slightly crazy wedding day. For the, all of the ongoing support at all hours of the day and for giving us both amazing head and stag parties. Who would have thought we'd have chose to swap city parties for country getaways? Definitely shows we're getting old here. Hi, this is Jen and her bridesmaids look absolutely stunning today. So I do think they deserve a round of applause. I have known Steve and his family practically all my life. And it has been an honor, an honor to know you all. I have tried to be Steve's best influence throughout his life. It's been hard over the years. I do have a few funny stories to tell. I think it's only fair. There's all been nice tea so far and I'm sure Rory and Liam will have something to say about it. Do you remember the mobility scooter races in the mountain? Thought me and Steve worked together for a number of years before Liam was born and then he had to go on to Ventures New. But in the hotel there was mobility scooters being charged whilst we were having dinner, serving the guests anyway. Once the guests had gone, we would shut the doors, move the chairs and have little races round the restaurant while the doors were closed so that none of the guests could see. So like so many friendships, ours began at work. I had already worked at Safety Media for a number of years when Steve joined our team. And our boss at the time decided to sit myself and Steve next to one another. This was a mistake. <laughs> we were like the class clowns and one of us was always getting in trouble. Stephen was well known in our office for his cheeky innuendos and one-liners. And to this day, I still don't know how he got away with some of them. <laughs> <laughs> our boss ran a tight ship which extended to our military style brew run. Making a solitary cup of tea for yourself was regarded as unacceptable office etiquette, so you'd better be prepared to make and deliver 20 cups of tea and coffee. <laughs> so, needless to say, I quite successfully managed to dodge the tea and coffee draft as often as humanly possible. This, however, did not go unnoticed by the team and resulted in Steve sending me a daily Outlook meeting invite to pop the kettle on, so th <laughs> thanks for that, Steve. So needless to say, Steve and I were besties from the get-go, bonded by our cheeky humour, our love of video games, football, and of course our enthusiastic singing 
which included our karaoke sessions on the way to meetings. A firm favourite of ours being Rick Astley's Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and you. Since then, we've actually roped Liam into our Rick Astley tribute band. And for that, I'm truly sorry. It wasn't long before it was time to introduce our girlfriends at the time, and in fact now our wives, Yay! to each other. <laughs> Jen and Steve invited us for dinner, and the girls became besties within half an hour of meeting each other. Needless to say, the four of us have been inseparable ever since. We get together for drinks, food and music on a regular basis. Along with our terrible singing, there are, of course, Jen's incredible rap breakdowns. <laughs> so, so if you're lucky, she might spit you some bars later on. Steve and Jen are quite literally two of our favourite people. It's crazy to think that we've only been our awesome foursome for less than four years, because it feels like they've been in our lives forever. And Hayley and I consider ourselves so very lucky to know and love you both. Jen, it goes without saying that you look absolutely amazing today. And Steve, you don't look bad either. <laughs> Jen has transformed Stay from a wild party animal into a very well trained houseman. <laughs> I never thought that could happen. A special thank you to my best man and son Liam. You've been there through it all. You're my little sidekick and my mini me. And he has loved Jen with his whole heart from the very beginning. And we feel very lucky to have such a loving son. I just wanted to say a few words for the new Mr. and Mrs. Martin, or my dad and my new stepmom. <laughs> I'm so happy, Dad, that you have finally found the one, even if you had to go to a different country just to find it. <laughs> a few of my dad's traits have rubbed off on me over the years. Thankfully, I've ordered the fashion sense, although... <laughs> Although I think he copied me with my outfit, so he's looking all right. <laughs> <laughs> However, we do share the same terrible sense of humour, so if this speech is not funny at all, feel free to blame him. <laughs> I would say I've looked up to you, but since I'm nearly taller than you, it might not work now. <laughs> So I can always look down on you, though. <laughs> as far as fairy stories go, stepmothers are evil, mean, cruel, and force poison red apples upon you. Apart from making me eat too many vegetables, Jen's doing all right. <laughs> Since she's moved to Wales to be with me and my dad, all Jen has ever done is love and care for us helped us in our times of need and taken us on lots of adventures which have created so many happy memories. I wanted to thank you uh, for helping me into the person I am today 
and I'm grateful for having someone like you in my life. You know it's kind of funny How a room full of things Feels completely empty When you're not in the wings How could I have known The fortune I would find Peace deep in my bones the beauty day and night And you may Anywhere feel like home Home isn't where we live It's living by your side Oh, and I can Imagine any other way The way our world needs your touch You're touching every space And how it makes any place Feel like home I'm kind of lucky yes, yes. when I hit a wall I know I can climb up Cause you're the ground beneath it all And you made anywhere feel like home Home isn't where we Well, what can I say about my bride? Well, first of all, and can I say, I think you'll all agree, just how beautiful she looks today and how I am the luckiest man <laughs> to be marrying such an amazing person. I would like to also include a special thank you to you, Jen, for making this venue look absolutely spectacular with all of your creative ideas. Your cricket machine is probably looking forward to a nice rest with the, <laughs> with the amount of work it's been doing this last year or so. However, if anyone would like to hire her services, please come and see her, her husband and her manager. <laughs> so, I think everyone in the room will know that this is definitely one of Jen's strengths, her creativeness. Always wanting to make sure that everything she does is done in a special way to make everyone around her feel happy whether it's friends, family, even as school kids. But the kindness, loyalty, and passion she shows to everyone and everything she does in not just making things, but in life, just 
makes me love her even more. The fact that you opened your heart and your life not just to me, but to Liam too, makes me realise that I could not have asked for a more special person to come into our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Our adventure to get here today has definitely been one I think not many people will embark on. From meeting around 12 years ago, I've got my cousin Sarah to thank you for that. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> to finally being together seven years later. Believe me, I did try, but she was not happy. I tried. <laughs> Sorry. Jen quitting her job in the November time and moving to Wales on Boxing Day, and my dad putting up with us for nearly a year. That's it. Our job's been unstable and then finally moving into our beautiful home where we began this incredible life together. Who would have thought my dreams would have finally come true to marry not only the love of my life, but my best friend too. Now, you know, like every relationship, we've had our testing times. Putting together a whole house of furniture from Ikea in less than three weeks just before Christmas is enough to test any relationship. <laughs> I think you'll all agree with that, won't you? But thankfully, we got through it with lots of laughter and fun and me reading the instructions out and telling her how to put it all together. <laughs> and now we start a new chapter in our lives together as husband and wife, making new memories as Mr. and Mrs. Madden. Now, finally, I don't know how many of you know this, but when I proposed to Jen, it was not the most romantic way I had ever imagined I was going to say it. It was cold, we were wet, and after Jen and Liam had had a snowball fight, I said, do me a favour, and popped out the Reading ring from my pocket. <laughs> not my best choice of words, but hey, we're sat here today, it must have worked. <laughs> Do you remember the first day that we met? I knew from the very first moment I saw you, I knew we were meant to be together for all of our days. I promise to love you for who you are and for who you are yet to become. I promise to be patient and to remember that all things between us are rooted in love. I promise to nurture your dreams and to help you reach them. I promise to share my whole heart with you and to remember to show you how deeply I care for you, no matter the challenges that may come our way. You were there for my greatest challenges. You encouraged me to grow. You helped me believe in myself and become the person I am today. In your arms and by your side, I know I can do anything. You have become my lover, my companion, and my best friend. Today, I join my life to yours, not simply as your husband, but as your friend, your lover, and your biggest supporter. There's no one else that I want to build my life with. <laughs> I love that we started out as friends. That is my favorite part. You truly saw me. You understand me, accept me in a way no one else has, in a way that I believe that no one else ever can. You are my best friend and my every dream come true. On this day, I give you my heart. I promise to encourage your kindness and optimism because they are what make you unique. I will nurture your hopes and dreams because now they are mine as well. I will support you through all of our life's adventures because there is nothing we cannot face together. I will continue to build a life with you and fill it with laughter because laughing is what we do best. I will share with you the joys in life because making you happy is my favourite thing to do. I vow to choose you every day over and over in good times and bad. Lastly, I promise to love, respect and cherish you. You are my one and only today and every day. I promise to show you every day that I know exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life. Thank you.
both given the great honour of being asked to share a reading at this wonderful couple's marriage ceremony. When I was first asked, I wondered where I would possibly find the words, words special enough, words to reflect the meaning of love. Nothing seemed enough when I trolled through Google for the most romantic words. Finally, I realised where I would find the answer. Like Jen, being a teacher, I know the simple honesty of the word of a child. A five-year-old speaks the truth of the heart. So I wanted to share with you, sorry, words from the mouths of Jen's class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Jen's class wrote this poem. It's called, What is Love? Love means you kiss people. Love means you grow together like a flower. Love is when you take them out on a date. Love is when you show them your matching bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> Love is when you give someone a ring. Love is when one of them is sad and you cheer them up. Love is making things for them. Love is making them smile so much. Love is giving, it's hugging people. Love is buying people donuts. <laughs> Love is washing the car for them. Love is when your boyfriend and girlfriend. Love is teaching us something new. Love is always dancing together. Love is Miss Cross helping me do maths. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know who wrote that. <laughs> Love is always chatting, even when it's night time. Love is taking someone to a cafe. Love is reading a book to someone. Love is about being kind. Love is going out together and always being together. Love is taking someone on holiday. Love is camping, even when it rains. <laughs> Love is watching the sunset together even when it's cold. Love is always making surprises. Love is having a baby and loving them. Love is always eating cake with them. <laughs> Love is getting married in a dress and a suit and giving flowers. Love is showing us the right thing to do. Love is going to a new place and love is when you miss them. Love is clearly about the things you do, the things you give, and experiencing life together. I wish you were both a lifetime of five-year-old love. to anybody who knows Jen and Steve just how in love they are. They have a wonderful zest for life and adventure from jet setting across the globe to breaking UK staycations. However, they are equally happy making a, a sofa boat on the front room with Liam, eating junk food and watching a movie with a nice glass of red wine. <laughs> I know Stephen and Jennifer will make a great team because I know they work well together. I'm sure that their teamwork will make for a great marriage. I call Jennifer my boomerang, but she always comes back. But today she takes the Madden surname. From now on, she's the new Mrs. Jennifer Madden. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I would like you all to join my wife, Christine and I, in wishing Stephen and Jennifer many happy years to come. And the toast is, to the bride and groom. From living with my dad and Jen, I can confidently say that they are crazy, weird, and very, very special. <laughs> They're always laughing and having fun, and I'm confident that they are made for each other. Please join me in raising your glasses, even if they are empty, uh, to give one final toast to our Mr. and Mrs. Martin. Please raise your glasses to my beautiful wife, to Jennifer.
see you in Jan. Wow, you look so beautiful today. So, I know, I would just like to say my congratulations to the now Mr. and Mrs. Maddie. And I want So I'd like you all to raise a glass for Mr. and Mrs. Madden. May your fabulous family of three have a lifetime of happiness. We love you guys. Cheers.